делал Алексей Навальный в последнее время, это уже вышло далеко за рамки только вот, вот этой конкретной проблемы борьбы с коррупцией. Это уже не борьба с, с исключительно коррупцией, это борьба просто за базовые человеческие ценности, борьба за жизнь. He really very genuinely thinks that Russia deserves a much better future than Russian citizens deserve much better than they live now, and he believes that this could be achieved through, well, democratic transition. Since February 2021, Russian opposition figure Alexei Navalny has been serving a jail sentence in this forced labor colony, known for its harsh conditions. Officially, he was imprisoned for not complying with the terms of his probation. Все эти преследования являются продолжением таким и ответной реакции на политическую деятельность Алексея Навального в качестве борца с коррупцией, критика режима, критика персонально действий Владимира Путина. Навальный set up the Anti-Corruption Foundation in 2011 to denounce a system rewarding oligarchs and stifling democracy in Russia. In the end, this became the leading opposition organization. Because if you talk about corruption, you automatically become an opposition. Because in the власти, in the administration of the president, on the level of the president, на уровне правящей партии, коррупция – это нормально. Это не то, что требует какого-то осуждения. From corruption, Navalny went on to speak out against voter fraud, running for mayor of Moscow. He published investigations into Russia's ruling elite, communicating on social media and during rallies. And people listened. People had so much demand, so much appetite for independent politics. Navalny gathered enormous crowds whenever he went. His message about justice, about fighting corruption, about democratic institutions and freedom resonates with all layers and groups of Russian society. Navalny and the thousands of protesters who joined him all over Russia were repeatedly arrested by police, sometimes beaten, and many were jailed. На сегодняшний день мы видим новые совершенно методы давления на людей с отличающимися взглядами. Это списки иностранных агентов, это списки нежелательных организаций. In August 2020, while on the campaign trail backing opposition politicians in federal elections, he fell seriously ill. He'd been poisoned with a Russian-developed nerve agent. The Kremlin denied all involvement. Airlifted to a German hospital, Navalny fell into a coma. Upon his recovery, he returned home, where he was immediately arrested. Алексей Навальный является узником совести, должен быть незамедлительно освобожден, дела в отношении него должны быть прекращены, новые дела не должны заводиться. Человек находится в заключении за свою политическую активность, за критику правящего режима. In October, the European Parliament awarded Navalny the 2021 Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought in recognition of his fight for freedom of choice for the Russian people. The main a question we should ask ourselves why these people poisoning, killing and fabricating election. And the answer is very, very simple, money. So I, uh, European Union should target the money and Russian oligarchs. Now in a penal colony, Navalny can only communicate through his lawyers who convey his messages to his team, family and social media. So our movement is not beheaded. We have our leader, we are in touch with him, and he continues to lead us. He represents the future of the democratic pressure. Наша главная задача, задача оппозиции, продолжать говорить правду, доносить информацию, делать информацию шире и доступнее для российского общества.